Society, the Society of Snow Sisters, lectures on their counterpart, the culture, snowmen, snowmen. Obviously, Obviously, our brothers are frozen man and man, except that they don't come to Earth that way, damn and really. Out of the sky, like boxes of pure green, shot to pieces. There are many metaphors useful when avoiding confrontations with what blown up men are like. Since avoiding blown up men is not allowed by men, a rule of asserting possibility in the range of what becomes necessary. So, there is the totem of men of snow, a sacred short life respected by great winds, like the Williwa, that can separate snowmen into billions of cold factors, lift each one, so that each cell flies like an insect, swarm shroud of white locusts ascending into the crop of clouds, either succeeding up there or falling dead white back to earth. It's just that the Willy It's just that the Willy and the Willy Those snowmen are part of the Willy Wad. Those snowmen are part and seem to give them what men usually mean by grace. The men who must be disassembled by insects and bacteria or burn in order to rise from the factory of body. Snowmen experienced snow re-entry tussle, as did historic astronauts whose re-entry vessels were more like killer meteors than like snowflakes that seemed to favor matter transfer. Reduction to atoms, reassembled into banks and into men after arrival. Though of the available men, astronauts are the men snowmen most resemble. Though they're much more like styrofoam insects, free spheres, head, abdomen, thorax, also made by men, mostly in their youth, wavering around the prime of life, science of making duplicates, substitutes, gods of ourselves. Frosty the snowman alive, then melting like any other immortal aspiration. Vexation is much more solid. Those thick arms that are sticks crisscrossing the heart of snow only. Had there been any other variety of heart, the arms would have impaled it. The melt of them, the puddles that say, like you real men, we too are mostly water. Know how little that uplifts and comforts. When men have watched their jealousies come alive, the substance of snowmen, each a particular separate parachute, at first fully, then gathering into a billion fold collection that has common purpose, function. Scarecrows caught in personal avalanches, enlarging avalanches where the fall of flesh has meant burnings, crimes, and sanctioned punishments. The ball has not improved the men that fell, even though they arose, for it is nothing to get up the knees to conclude contrition, to become human, and enter the caves, start fires, the industry of making men, and animal experiments, 
the generosity of pigs. Even the pancreas also of Chinese hamsters, to which men are indebted, as men evidently are supposed to be, since most are in debt, sinking. Except that, since we sink in space, the hell below is above earthly orientation too. The squall of snow proceeds from that. Snow drifts down a piece. Crazed ones, devising ways to pluck the fervor and madness, looked blizzards and hazards. Yet for all the frenzy, nothing binds the down that warms. Handfuls don't become moat balls and don't melt with the snowmen they may have generated. The down as still, as patch when winter misbehaves. Run them up temperature way up when winter should remain authentic downtime. Temperature still. Prices of revealing swimsuits falling, light falling back, dark portion larger, chopped wood going up in flame, distant snowman with marshmallows on his arm sticks, blackening edges like paper early in its burn. And it's all hickory air, the scent thick in everything. <sighs> Almost a third dimension, new skin, as it to replace what burns away. As such a supply, the flavor of being involved. Snow also fills gaps, ground extends whitely to the windows. Pitched roof covered with uneven blank pages glistens while I wait for snow to fall solid without space between interlocked plates, gear flakes before the landing resolves into mishmash that is shovel, push, loud, skin. There are certain bears, certain snow leopards, cranes, Certain albinos and mutant colorless things, clear as bells. They could get lost in the substantial bellies of glutinous, of glutinous, of glutinous avalanches of snowmen, who are not with the evidence of those eyes tongues. The rules of awareness, the rules of entry and exit. Rules of cohabitation, rules of forensic investigation that work because nothing is silent. Everything has markers, tracers, echoes as vestiges of vespers. Existence is Territorial by nature. Snowmen tend not to budge once they become men. They remain men until the meltdown or seemingly more cruel and deliberate. Demolition. No men are being made. No qualifications are required of the makers. And there are no requirements for the product for which there is no quality control, except the motives of the maker whose like or dislike of snow cones could be either detriment or advantage for either the maker or the snowman. The making of anything includes the making of dilemma. Is the universe parallel, curved, distorted, like a perfect arrow that doesn't exist beyond theory, trying to nip everything? so that truth can't ever meet folly, each traveling uninterrupted in opposite directions, each claiming to move 
from past to future, one flat, one inflating and sagging like a saddle, is it any of these? The birth of snowmen is nearly always at home. The death of snowmen is nearly always at home. They usually don't live long enough to have birthday parties. In places of permanent ice, men aren't made with the gusto and necessity of makers who must handle more radical temperature fluctuations. Though men everywhere make angels, often called other things until metaphor makes angel possible. And there is really no other way that anything can be possible. Especially astonishing reversals. When they threw snowballs at me, before they were the men they would be, assured by the throne, when in their gloved hands snow became rounded cooperation, in sun seemed polished. As the palmed asteroid X arced toward me, full of trajectory. I was in the middle of the making of universe, yet could not grab planets, comets whizzing by, a snowball becoming spiral galaxy when it flattened, when it encountered my face and adjusted to the curvature of that space that genius had to understand before anyone else could. The theoretical being, the snowman out cold, warming up to an idea. Make a nice coat though, with an ostrich skin coat. Oh, I'm sorry to talk about that, that's quite a bit. 